And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. The show presents the National League Division Series. It's the Philadelphia Phillies going up against the Atlanta Braves. John Shabby and Chris Singleton on the call. And a lot riding on this one as these teams meet for game two, Chris. Yeah, this might be the game to actually decide the series, Boo. When it's five games, getting a 2-0 lead is a dominant position to be in. And I don't see this series getting to a fifth game if we have a repeat of game one's outcome in this one. Yeah, the Crows start circling for a team that falls into a two-game deficit. Not where you want to be. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to roll here. Today's starting pitcher, Max Free. Yeah, and when he's on, he's a real treat to watch. I've become a fan myself. You know, he often takes the pressure off of his hitters to score a lot of runs, but they have to be careful to not just go into a slumber. They've got to put up some runs, make it a little bit easier for this guy so he doesn't have to battle every time that he's out there. No one should be surprised, though, if he settles in and takes control uh -huh. of the game and throws a shutout. Trey Turner at the plate. to the mound gathers and throws to first and they get Turner for the out Cedric Mullins stands in for the Phillies and there's the strike no Max Freed quite strike. simply has turned into one of the best left handers in the National League if not all of baseball Chris yeah tremendous pitcher but he fields his position extremely well over to first barely got him for the out close play played that ball perfectly had a good angle on it and got off the long throw as quickly as he could have and any more time he takes on that play it's probably an infield hit great arm strength as well two outs base is empty Bryce Harper digs in now and that one fouled off. And he's down 0-2 as oh, he swings please. through it. And that one oh. missing low. Tough to take a two-strike changeup that just missed. I think it froze it. That one misses in the dirt. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for... Back here in Atlanta, and on the hill today, Zach Wheeler. What do we need to know here? Yeah, but last time out, got into the fourth inning. The key to his success today, he's got to throw first pitch strikes, get ahead in the count. I think that'll get him into position to qualify for a win. Now in for the Braves, Ozzy Albies. Harper has a beat on it. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. Michael Harris, next up for the Braves. Now this is in the air down the line. Two down. Here's Austin Riley. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. That's a laser base hit. And that extends the inning. With that fastball, even though it's high velocity, you've got to live on the outer edges. When it's right on a tee, right down the middle, professional hitters are not going to have a problem turning it around. Here is Matt Olson. First pitch, not close. Good eye right there. Riley, the runner at first with two gone. That misses. Three balls, no strikes. And here it comes. Good oh, plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Four pitches. That's an easy walk, man. He could have walked me right there, boo. The last one wasn't even close. Here's Marcelo Zuna. And the first pitch misses for ball one.
Two outs. Two balls, no strikes to count. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Two zero. -oh. And fouled off. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. This one in the air right field. Harper brings it in for the third out. Welcome back. New inning getting started at the play. Kyle Schwarber. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Chris, one cool nugget on Kyle Schwarber. He has homered in every type of playoff series. A wild card game, a wild card series, a division series game, a league championship series game, and in a World Series. And he grounds one to the right side. And that one finds its way through. So a man on base to start the inning. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. Swung on, belted. That's back. And that one is out of here. So he just clears the wall, and they grab the lead. It's 2-0. He sent the first pitch over the wall. Must have dinner reservations because he wasn't wasting any time at the plate in that at bat. When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. Max Muncy at the dish. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. No ball. One strike. Oh, and two as he no waves ball. at that Two's one. Right. Can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. Left hand hitter waits. That one missed. One, Evens a count. Swings through it for the K. Slider got him for strike three. This is Bryson Stock. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Good eye in that spot. Gonna count one and two. And that skips in the dirt. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Sets him down on strikes. Strike three called and a slider at the knees. And now it's Jonathan Scope. In there for strike one. Good oh. eye right there. Ball to strike. And strike two. One ball, two strikes. Right. Up the middle, Arcia. Tosses to first, and that is that. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now a 2-0 ball game. Bottom of the inning, and now the catcher comes up to him. Travis Darno. Wheeler back to work. Up the middle. Tosses to first. That's one out, the bottom of the second. Luis Gonzalez getting ready to hit. He swings and fouls one off. 
they want to work out of a little bit of a jam in that first inning. One down, base is empty. And he hits a ground ball right side. Scope throws to first in time. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Justin Dean stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Gets him to chase after that one. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low end fastball for some guys. That misses the zone. Two balls and a strike. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Two down, nobody on. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Out of the third inning, here's the catcher, JT Real Muto. In the air, left field, Dean ranging back, and it's caught. And there's one down. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch. Man, he's going to want that one back, no doubt. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Gonzalez calls it in, and there's two away. Two outs, space is empty. And digging in for Philadelphia, Cedric Mullins. And the first pitch misses in the dirt. Mullins patrolling center field, batting second in today's lineup. And he's a former Gold Glove Award winner. Back-to-back -back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher is afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. 2-1 down. Swings and misses at the breaking ball in the dirt. Well, he looks fresh out there. Just needs to get a little more confidence. And rem ah, that's strike three and the third out. So Back here at the ballpark, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the shortstop, Orlando Arcia. And a foul ball. Here comes the 0-1. And a big swing and a miss. Oh, and he really sells the changeup with that arm action. And that one is lifted in the air. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. And there's one away. So the lineup flips over. Ozzie Albies will hit next. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Albies, a former Gold Glove winner, 27 years old, and he's a native of Curacao. Foul ball there. Neal two. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. And Neal two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The 0-2. And ball one. one. Got him looking for the K. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. And next for Atlanta, Michael Harris. That one fouled off. Righty to the plate. Swings and misses, struck him out. Braves go down. Out of the fourth, here's Bryce Harper. The right Free, back to work. Right. Harper. And oh. ball one to the right fielder. On the ground. Throw on to Olsen. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. 
Schwarber oh. batting for the second time and that's strike one. Liner caught it second. Well baseball can be cruel can it. I mean sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing but he's got nothing to show for it. To third. And foul ball. The 0 1. Out to short. Arcia. Sends it to first. Out number three. Bottom of the fourth. Here's a big power threat. Austin Riley. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. Got him. And there's one down. Well, he made pretty quick work of him right there. You look at the sequence. Everything down at the knees and below. And some guys are good low ball hitters, but right there, they clearly had a plan to pound that part of the zone, and he wasn't able to put up much of a fight. And that one finds its way through. So a man aboard now with one away. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Now at the plate, Marcelo Zuna. Center field. Puts it away for the out. And now it's Travis Darno at the plate. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. Foul ball. Ball in one now. Now one in one. Well, he's one so ball. great about one hitting side. the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Here comes a pitch. Out to short. They take the force out. That's the third out. Ready now for the fifth inning. Here comes Max Muncy. In for a strike. Going one. Well, it was bumpy in the early going for the lefty, but he settled into a really nice groove. The next pitch misses, and the count even one and one. Kicks and deals. Right side, hard hit. Albies over to first in time. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Stop in the box now. No balls and a strike. The next offering misses. And that is ball one. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Line drive and a base hit right there. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Here's the second baseman, Jonathan Scope, runner on the goal. On the ground to third. Riley fires to first. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. There's a strike. Stop at second with two down. There's a strike at the knees. Oh, with two down. Just misses with that one. It's a good take. One ball, two strikes. Got him swinging. Phillies. And welcome back. And now the right fielder, Luis Gonzalez. And a pitch. Out towards right center field. Pulls it in on the run. And there's one away. Now that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a no nice ball. catch right that's there. Right. Dean, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. 
off the mark there. And that's ball one. Now fly ball to right center. Mullins in pursuit. Flashes the leather on the run and catch. That's out number two. Here's Orlando Arcia. Flied out his first time. Ground ball to the right side. The flip to the pitcher covering. Out with room to spare. And that's back at Truist Park. Start of the six. John Shambi with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Trey Turner. There's the strike. Turner, a member of the 1,000 hit club, a former first round pick back in 2014. Up the middle, Albies whips it to first on the run. Turner is out. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground, nice ground out. Now the batter now, Cedric Mullins. There's a strike. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 oh, now. The wide to kick the pitch. Swings and misses, and he's down on strikes for the second time today. And first offering is fouled off. Harper, 31 years old. Can't forget to mention he's a former MVP. Next pitch is outside. In there at the knees. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. In the air, out towards right center. Harris has a beat on it. And puts the squeeze on that. And that is that. Bottom of the sixth inning, and now it's the switch inning second baseman, Ozzie Albies. And that one wrapped foul. You know, these Braves, as you probably noticed, haven't been shy at the plate at all. In fact, they've probably been too aggressive at times. One thing that stands out looking over the numbers is the amount of outs they have on the first pitch of the at-bat. They've given away too many at-bats with easy outs. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. I'd really like to see him make an adjustment. Get more patient and start waiting for that right pitch. Not just the first pitch. I think that could make a big difference in this one. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Michael Harris. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Pitch misses, and it's a ball and a strike. And now the count, one, one two. and two after the swing and the miss. Just an outstanding job of spinning the baseball, moving it around, doing what he does. The punch out there, that's his second strikeout. Austin Riley, next up for the Braves. Three-pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. Hammer down the right side, but foul. Righty delivers. That one hit to right. That gets down for a hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. But the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. Olsen at the plate and takes high there. And it's found a way. is fouled off. And the right-hander deals. Foul ball still a one and two count. The pitch. And that one almost got him. 
Riley off of first with two away. and misses it's a strikeout Braves strand all set for the start of the inning Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here there's a strike <laughs> left hand batter waits goes down looking Wow, short work to send him back. Back in to start the inning and no messing around either. All three pitches were in the strike zone. Attack mode all the way and that's pretty impressive given the pop he was dealing with at the plate. Well, with the shift on, hits right into it. Fires across the diamond and two away to start the seven. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. Muncie stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. Next offering is down low, and it's one and one. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low. Throwing the ball very well right now. And he deals. Just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And a swing and a miss. And good work there as he gets a one. Bottom of the seventh. And now the DH, Marcelo Zuna. The wind of the pitch. Crushed in the air. Left center field. Way back there. No doubt about it. He circles the bases, and they cut into the deficit. It's 2-1. He ambushed him right there, Siggy. Yeah, swinging on that first pitch, and I think losing one over the fence is exactly what he had in mind as well. For a pitcher, the odds are in your favor if you keep that breaking ball down. That time, he got punished for it. Hitter just did a really good job of staying within himself and getting the barrel to the baseball. Now in for the Braves, Travis Dardo. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. And that is in for a strike. And the count is 0-2. Stirring in the Phillies bullpen, Sir Anthony Dominguez. Up and loosening in the pen. Bednar getting loose as well. Right-hander kicks deals. Out to short. Turner with the throw to first. One away. That ground ball may have him back on track after the home run. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter. And a tough one at that. The 0-1. Lined, and that's a base hit. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. We often hear the phrase short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel. They go with one of their more experienced arms in this spot, Andrew Bullock. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Hit on the ground, might be two. On the scope! And that's quick work out of the pen. One batter, two outs, inning over. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. And it's now a 2-1 ball game. You're watching the National League Division Series on the show.
Now into the game, Sam Hilliard. He'll be out in left field. Free back to work. Stop in the box again. Takes a strike. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. The pitch. Just off the outside part of the plate. Swing and a miss. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi-run home run. And he takes it himself for the out. Two outs, base is empty. JT Real Muto steps in. First pitch doesn't find the zone. They say it went. Strike two. Real Muto started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, and that's a. Chris Sir Anthony. Your attention, please. Now passing for the Phillies. Number 58. Sir Anthony. Dominguez. Dominguez is checked into the game. And he's had three days off since he pitched last, so expect him to be totally rested. I'm sure he's itching for this opportunity right now. Arcia up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. So two balls and no strikes. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Next pitch is outside, and it's 3-0. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it could be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He has it. We'll see how this at bat turns out. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. That one ripped, but foul. Next one misses. Ball one with a single base runner because of all the power. They are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. Left field. Schwarber settles under it. Puts it away for the out. Michael Harris next up for the Braves. Swing and a miss. Oh. One one. This guy absolutely flies. The defense wants to turn two, but they got to get a ball they can do it with. Make sure you get the first out before you try to rush and get two and end up with nothing. Out there to center. That one carrying. And out of here. All muscle to center field. His second home run of the series. And they grab the lead in the eighth. It's 3-2. team that hits home runs at such a high rate they can get back in the ball game so quickly that's why that leadoff walk was extremely costly new arm out of the bullpen Gregory Soto and this could be a pretty now for number 30 Gregory Soto critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. And now here is Austin Riley. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Now the 0-1. 
Little chopper rolls foul. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. That misses one, the two. zone. It's a ball and two strikes. Still only one out here in the inning. Got him. And there's two down. And now Matt Olson up to hit. One for two. First offering oh, no. misses badly for ball one. Swings through that one for strike oh, one. Oh, he right. doubled up on the off speed there. We talk about the power fastball, but he's working a little differently here. That one ripped. That's back there. And that one is going to go. Matt Olson goes deep. That's his third home run of the series. It's 4 2. Pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. Two outs, nobody on. Marcelo Zuna, next up for the Braves. He's already homered in this game. Pitch misses there, and it's 1-0. Swings over the top of that one. Well, at that velocity, if that's all you're seeing, 88, you can handle that all day long. That's what you get in batting practice. But off the velocity of the fastball, that is a very tough pitch to adjust to. And now the lefty bounced up the middle. Can't glove it cleanly. Now the catcher up to hit, Travis Dardo. Slice the other way, that's a base hit. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Now it's the right fielder, Luis Gonzalez. Really nice swing in his last at bat. Shot a line drive into center field. The 0 1. Out towards left center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that ends the inning. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. Last chance coming up for the Phillies. All set to start. Start the ninth in this one. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Trey Turner. New pitcher for the Braves, Rysel Iglesias. Save opportunity for him right here, and he's their guy. Time to lock this one down and get out of here with the W. On the ground. Whips it to first. One up, one down. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Bunting for a hit. And that's just foul. Iglesias, a 6'2 righty, 190 pounds, and he was born in Cuba. Swing and a miss, and it's one and two. And a ground ball to first. Olsen takes it himself. Now only one out remaining. So it's their last chance in this one. And now for the Phillies, Bryce Harper. There's a strike. Owen Tuzzi waves at that one. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And he's in with a stand-up double. 
That's tremendous fight from him, and I know it's got the dugout fired up down there. Down to the last strike, and he comes up with oh. a hit to keep the game alive. It ain't over yet. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a miss. And a count one and one. Just ball, missed. No. Two ball, one strike. Checks his swing, appeal to third, and Jerry Hillsdale says he went around. The tying run at the plate. And now it's filled up. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. Got him! And that's the ball game. This is what you call taking care of business. When you've got home field advantage and you win the first two games of the series, that's what you come to the ballpark to do. They've worked hard to get to this point. Now they're in the driver's seat. We'll see how they do once this series continues. But so far, they've set the tone. Here's one final look at the line score from this one, Chris. It was a close two-run game, and a couple of key moments just really made the difference. Not much separates these two teams. And your final 4-2 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. The final